Father, we thank God that we are here in his presence. Those who are online, we welcome you. Those who are in person, we welcome you. We cannot begin without acknowledging him. So this evening, let us talk to God. In the name of Jesus to thank him because he is over all in the mighty name of Jesus shere mama kwa kaswa kase kere se kete kere maswa kae ke akaswa shete e maka kwa kaswa shere mama aka kwa kaswa kase kete kere mama swa kae father the beginning the end we commit it into your hands lord come take absolute control of our service this ever Father, as the praises go up, your blessings will come upon your children. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please, let us be seated. We are going to take two hymns, and our first one is at the cross. Yeah. 
tristeza Si has vivido la victoria That's why we say Have you heard what the Lord has done? He has destroyed the work of Satan He has given us the victory That's why we say Oh say, oh say yeah.
You took the fall above all, trampled upon the ground like a rose. Father, we thank you. What a sacrifice. You demonstrated your love for mankind. Father, we thank you on the cross. He shed his blood and paid the price once and for all. That is whom you are. You are above all kingdoms. You are above all kings. You are above all. And we thank you. We glorify your name. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The first and the last. There is none between. We honor you and we adore you. We are here because of you. We cannot do anything with our own strength. We depend on you. Come. Take absolute control of our service. We thank you. In the name of Jesus and the children of God, we say, Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, true worship. Thank you. Thank you, the instrumentalist. And thank yourself being here. Did you wave to someone already? Wave to somebody. Wave to somebody. Hallelujah. We are so glad you came to worship with us today. This is All Nation for Gospel Church, Windsor, and we are a house of prayer. Please join our services Sunday at 10 a.m., Connect services at 6 p.m., Wednesday Bible study at 7 p.m., and every other Friday we have prayer night starting at 9 p.m. We would love to connect with you if you're new to All Nations Full Gospel Church, Windsor. Simply scan the barcode on the screen, fill out your information so that we can connect you to the great people, events, and ministries here. At All Nations Full Gospel Church, we love God, love the Bible, love prayer, love people, and we love to make disciples. And the best way to get started is by joining small Bible study groups. We have many groups. Simply scan the barcode to see which one is closest to your home to join. And if you need any encouragement or support, Please feel free to contact our pastors. We will leave their numbers for you on the screen. And if you go to our website, you will find all the information you need to contact our church. We're praying every Monday to Saturday from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. on our WebEx app. You can find the link through our social media or you can ask one of our leaders. 
please feel free to join us as you start your day with God. Thank you for faithfully giving your offerings and tithes to All Nations for Gospel Church Windsor. There are three ways to give. The Push Pay app, where all you need to do is text ANFGC Windsor to 77977 and follow the instructions that follow. If you prefer Interac, you can send it to dmensa at anfgc.org where it'll go straight to the church account. To give with cash or a check, please use the envelope that the usher would provide. If you need more information, visit anfgcwindsor.org. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the service. God, God bless, bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just a recap. You know, we are doing marvelous works in his presence. Amen. Amen. But always when you come to church, one thing you have to do is look around. Look around you. Look around you. You know, where is your friend? Where is your friend? Where is your friend? So Friday is Good Friday. This is Holy Week. We are fasting. We are praying. Amen. And we don't want anyone to be left out. So invite somebody, somebody you've not seen for some time, and tell them, this Friday is Good Friday. We want all to be here. Amen? We are going to do it. Hallelujah. Let's do it. And the Sunday is a resurrection Sunday. We are just celebrating the days, right? Are we not? Yes, it's celebrating because Jesus came, you know, went to the cross 2,000 years ago. But let's celebrate Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. At this time, church, let's welcome the man of God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. We want to have some wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. Every time in his presence, something good happens. And therefore, we, we want him to... Let me go down a little here. Praise God. We want him to do something in our midst. We resolved this morning to make today um, a special day of prayer. So I want to exalt us to pray. Yes. Why is teaching? Why is doing everything? Don't miss what we're going to talk to God about. And sometimes when we are praying, not sometimes, always, when you are praying in tongues, you don't really know what you are, what you are saying because that's what the scripture says. So please, if you can pray in the Holy Ghost at the least opportunity, move into it. Start from whatever we're praying about, then you move into, into, into the spirit. I remember a church that we belong to in Asia, and uh, they would say, Father, they would raise the prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, today I'm praying for my mother. You know everything that concerns her, but one thing I want for her is that you heal her. In the name of Jesus, help me, Holy Spirit, to pray the perfect prayer, and then you go in tongues. Because the Holy Spirit knows that maybe that pain or in that sickness has a root. Then the Holy Spirit will go and deal with it. So those who can pray in the Holy Ghost, please don't miss the opportunity to pray. Where you are standing, it's like my line is breaking. If you can give me a new, a new mic or a new battery. But let's, wherever we are, bow your heads and I want you to talk to God and ask him to be with us today. Let him speak to us, encourage us, and let him make the best for, uh, for us today. Let's, pray. Let's go. I want to hear you in the name of Jesus. Father, we are here to hear from you. Guide us, help us in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, we have come. We are here to do what you ask us to do. You say, when we pray, it means prayer is obligatory. And here, we are here to pray your word. We are here to pray meditatively. We are here to pray by and with your spirit. 
Guide us, O Lord, Holy Spirit. This is your service. Come and be preeminent. Come and be in control. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. You may please have your seat. So we are picking some lessons from events leading to the cross for effectual prayer. Some events that led to the cross, the days before the cross. Hallelujah. And, and we want to uh, look at some scriptures and then we pray. But first and foremost, we want to know the contrast. We want to look at it, the contrast in which we are living. In this world, there is good and there is bad. Isn't that not so? There is light and there is darkness. Hallelujah. There is faith and there is doubt. There is, there is love and there is hatred. And there is God and there is a Satan. Don't forget that. There is a God and there is a Satan. And why is God thinks good for you? Satan plans evil for you. But before we go into prayer, for you not to pray as people who have already been defeated. This Satan is defeated. The time will come soon when he will be cast forever into the pit. But until then, he will roam this earth and harass you and harass me and do everything. But he will not have the victory. Hallelujah. Look at 2 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9 with me in the New King James Version, 2 Chronicles 16, 19. 9. We just want to look at this God whom we serve. For the eye of the Lord, of your God, Jehovah, it runs to and fro throughout the whole earth, including Windsor, including the east, the west, and the north of Windsor, including your house. God's eyes are going to and fro. Why? On the whole, uh, to show himself strong on your behalf or on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. Not everybody, but those whose heart is loyal to him. In this, and, and then, okay, the last part, we'll leave it out. This is our sign he has done wrong and the prophet has gone. Hallelujah. But he's telling him that your God is not like the God of the world. The God who is stationed at one place. He eyes, they have eyes, they cannot see. They have ears, they cannot hear. They have mouth, they cannot speak. They are, those who worship them must behave like they are crazy. You understand? Uh-huh. But he, he has eyes and he sees and his eyes go to and fro. Throughout the whole earth, including Ghana, including Congo, including Cameroon, including uh, Angola, including Haiti. Hallelujah. In fact, do you know, we used to do something here. Today, can we pray for Haiti before we leave? Because something has been happening. First, we used to do this thing and we, we pray and before you realize, things have turned around. Hallelujah. Forgive me, I'm the leader, so I, hold, I take responsibility, you understand. Sometimes, sometimes we don't do that, but God's eyes go to and fro. His eyes are going to and fro in Haiti and every other place. Hallelujah. To show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal. Hallelujah. The omniscient God. He, know, he knows how vicious the devil is. He keeps his eyes always on his children to show himself strong on our behalf. Believe this. Hallelujah. And therefore, our first prayer point, we are not praying now, but as we go, I'll give you the prayer point. If this is true, then our first prayer point will be like something like, Father, in Jesus' name, I give you all my heart. Because he's looking for someone with a loyal heart to show himself strong. Someone who doesn't, if the old, old scripture will say, those who hate him and those who love him. Those who love him have a loyal heart. And those who hate him, you, you understand. So God, in the name of Jesus, give, I give you all my heart. Touch it and purge it. Sanctify my heart. As I resolve, as I decide to be loyal, to be loyal to you and you alone. Hallelujah. Today I made plenty of mistakes in my, 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 my typos, but I know they are not showing it. So that, 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 that is okay. That is the first prayer you pray. If God's eye is going to and fro, looking for those who have a loyal heart to him, to show himself strong, then you are out. It's not his fault. If you are not loyal at heart to him, if you don't love him and love him sacrificially, you, you understand, then you are out. Do you agree with me? And who wants to be out of this searching and defending and protection of God? Nobody. So we're going to pray that prayer. 
you understand. But whilst he does this, Satan, on the contrary, hallelujah, Satan the schemer, Satan the strategist, Satan the orchestrator, Satan the, the coordinator of evil. He, he sits there and he controls. You, you understand? All these evil. And let me say something. He, whilst God is looking for us to show himself strong, he wants to make you weak. So that he can conquer you and dominate you and control you and use you and abuse you. He is one of the worst masters you can ever have. Because he's, he's, you see, he, let's even me go a little ahead of mine. You saw how he used uh, uh, Judas Iscariot. Did he save him? No, he destroyed him. Because he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Don't make Satan your friend, please. I beg you. Don't make Satan your friend. He's not, not, he can't be a friend. He'll smile at you, but he has a dagger behind him. Hallelujah. He schemes and plans every evil against you, against your family, against this church, against everywhere. Because that, that is what he loves to do. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. We've looked at God, whose eyes go to and fro. Look at the attitude of Satan here. Be sober. He's talking to you and I. Be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, our adversary. Who is our adversary? The devil. He walks around like a what? A rolling lion. He is not the lion. Our lion is the lion of Judah. He is trying to be everything God does. He wants to imitate, but he can't be Jesus. Hallelujah. But he, 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 he walks around. Other translations say he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for whom he may devour. If you joke, he will devour you. Devour is not like eating. Devour in what? You, you, you consume everything. Like how the fire came from heaven to consume uh, uh, Elijah's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 he and Bells, that, that thing. You saw how the fire came and licked up. He wants to lick you up. Who says, yeah, Satan, yeah, come lick me. Who said, no, 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 no. That is his attitude. Why is God wants to defend you and build you? And he wants to lick you up and he wants to destroy you. He wants to devour you. So we're also going to pray a prayer. Oh God, for grace to be sober. Because the condition is if you are sober and you are vigilant. You must be sober and be vigilant. Because the adversary, the devil, is walking around. Lacking. In fact, it's not just walking. He is lacking. You see how a snake would like to get into uh, this. He's walking in the corners, going in the corners, going round, round. When he finds a hole, he enters. May every hole, may every door, may every opening in your life, in your home, be closed today in Jesus Christ's mighty name. If you have opened it, close it. Because he's walking around. He's a thief who doesn't have any place to go and steal. So when a thief leaves the home in the night, he's looking for someone who is careless. Someone who has opened his window. Somebody who f forgot to lock his door or his car. He, and then he enters in and he will tell God, you see, it's not my fault. That is the, the devil. Those who have made him your friend. He is not a good guy. Somebody say he is no good. Hallelujah. For grace to be sober. First, we have to be sober and vigilant to resist the devil, to resist Satan steadfastly in faith. Are you ready to pray that prayer today? First Peter 5, now look at the 8 and 9. Be sober. We add the 9 to it. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Number 9, therefore what? I'm just putting my own word that therefore do what? Therefore we should do what? Look at the scripture. Do what? Resist him. Steadfast in faith. Knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brothers in the world. Hallelujah. That's what the scripture is telling us. Because of his attitude, we must also have a particular attitude that will cancel and counter what he does. We must resist him. We must be sober. We must be vigilant. Hallelujah. With what expectation? When we do this, what is the expectation we want to have? First Peter 5, 10. Look at the 10. What you should expect. Sometimes we pray and we don't have an expectation. But when you pray, have an expectation. First, believe that God has heard you and he will answer. What are you ready to receive from him? What are you believing him for? Hallelujah. The, the verse 10 says, but may the God 
of grace who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after you have suffered a while perfect Hallelujah. May he perfect you. May he establish you. May he strengthen you. May he settle you. You have roamed left and right. You have been, you have been like a vagabond for too long. Now be settled. Somebody say chill. You, you, you understand? So we are praying and when we pray those prayers, we believe God has heard us and this God who has called us to his, his eternal glory, hallelujah, by Christ Jesus, not by Yao. If it's me, doubt him. If it is Michael, doubt him. But it's, it's, about, it's by who? Christ Jesus. After you have suffered, after the devil has troubled you but cannot, you know sometimes it's annoying. You, have you have problem with mosquitoes before? You want to sleep, and sometimes you even slap yourself, you know, because of one small little mosquito. After they've troubled you, <laughs> hallelujah. God will perfect that which concerns you. He will also make you, you know, that word perfect and perfect. You enjoy both of it, whether it's perfect or perfect. Hallelujah. He will perfect that which concerns you, and he will perfect perfect, make, make you perfect. Hallelujah. And, 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 and establish you. Some of you think you are visiting Canada. No, you are here to stay. A tree that keeps being transplanted will die one day. Make Windsor your destination and remain here. And may the Lord establish you. Give you a work. Give you a job. Hallelujah. Those who cross over to U.S. to work. Yes, we are, we are exporting you there. And we make the money, bring it home. Hallelujah. May God establish you in your career. May he establish you in your academics. May he establish you in your relationship. That is what, what, what you want. When we get to the prayer time, pray like you are crazy. And settle you. I say settle. Settle. I remember when Mama and others they 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 want they buy they buy maize or wheat and 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 beans and all those things. You can fill the the the, the basket, is that not so? Or the bowl. But when you shake it, it goes down. You can add more. May God shake you and settle you so that you can receive more in the name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody hearing what the Spirit of God is saying? He is going to shake you. During the time of shaking, you become, begin to feel dizzy. But what will come after the shaking? Oh, hallelujah. You will love it. May he shake you and settle you and, and make, make you be able to receive more. Hallelujah. So that is what we want from him. Number two. We want to look at this. We've done the contrast. Now we want to look at Satan. He's a strategist, a strategic networker. Satan has a network. Hallelujah. And he works strategically with his network. And also he's able to target the heart. Remember, without a loyal heart, God will not show himself strong on your behalf. Other scripture says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. You understand? Our heart is very important. And therefore, when the, the Satan comes at you, he comes for your heart. He comes for your faith. When he's able to take out your heart and your faith, he's able to take out your praise and your worship. He's able to take out your prayer. And then you become a wishy-washy Christian. Hallelujah. He's a strategist. He works in a network. Let us look at it. And this is the strategy he used to deteriorate uh, Judah. Uh, Judas Iscariot, you understand? You saw him deteriorating and then he became perverted and before you realized he was gone. All the while he was working with Jesus, Satan was working on him because it just, it just Satan whispered something to him and instead of rejecting it, he received it and started playing with it, toy, toying with it in the mind. Hallelujah. And before you realize, you see, what you think about, you will soon do. Actions start with a thought. So when he whispers something to you, and you know this thing, if I continue, if it manifests in action, it will not be good. Throw it away. I'm going to die. I'm going to fail. And I'm, what sort of thinking is that? Where do you think it's coming from? It's from the pit of hell. Ah, this Canada, I regret coming here. And some people marry and look at their wives and look at their husbands and say, I regret marrying you. Hey! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John 13 verse 2. So we're looking at something here. Can we go on? 
And supper being ended, the devil having already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot. Hallelujah. The devil having already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray Jesus. So he didn't just get up one day to go and betray Jesus. Satan had put it in his heart. How, how he put it there, I don't know, but I can suggest something. He whispered, because this guy had a bad attitude. Scripture says he was a thief. Anyone with a bad attitude, you are an easy instrument for the devil. You get angry easily. You hate people easily. You gossip easily. You lie easily. You steal easily. Whatever. Do this. No, I won't do it. Go here. So I will do it the way I want. Satan have you in his pocket. He's waiting to put you under his feet and he will step on you instead of you stepping on him. Those who love doing their own things, no, 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 why? Who are you? To... Hey, yo, let me move on. What does this tell us? The scripture we just read. Satan had already put it in Judas's. I think my mic is not still not good. Yeah. He has already put it in Judas Iscariot's heart to betray Jesus. Hallelujah. So we have the need always to prevent him from putting anything into our hearts. Is that not so? If he puts it there, get it out. If, it does, if, if the best thing is to ensure he doesn't put... Hello? Oh, is it maybe me alone who's hearing the breaking? You, do you also hear it there? Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. There are electronics. Sometimes when the anointing is coming like that, it wants to misbehave. But there's a greater anointing than electronic lines. So, praise God. Let's try this and see. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, we have some babes here. Hallelujah. So if Satan could do this to Judas, then there is a need for us to always prevent him from putting anything into our hearts. Do you agree with me? So we're going to pray and say, Oh Lord, shut the door of my heart. Hallelujah. And that's a prayer you must pray. Don't say, I'm shutting the door on my heart. I'll show you scripture. That is what he says he will do. That is God's work. To shut the door of your heart. If you allow Satan to shut the door of your heart, he will kill you. It is his work. Hallelujah. And there is a prophecy in Isaiah most people don't know. Jesus quoted that prophecy concerning himself in Revelation. So let's look at Isaiah 22, verse 22. We'll pray for 30 minutes. I believe I will be able to end this exhortation. We're picking the points, then we'll come back and start praying it. But I want you to understand when the prayer is moving. The key of the house of David I will lay on his shoulder. Remember Jesus Christ. Scripture says the government shall be what? upon where? his shoulders. Hallelujah. I will lay upon his shoulders so he shall open and no one shall do what? And he shall shut and no one shall open. If, if Jesus, if God opens, no one can shut. He opens a way. May he open a way for you today. May before this Easter end, that door you won't open, may he open it, flung it open. In fact, God, do it like Samson did. He re- you know, Samson got to the Philistines and he removed the pillars, the pillars of their gates, and, and carried them and threw them away. Any door that is standing in your way, may it and its pillars be carried and thrown deep into the sea in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And may May the doors of your heart, where the devil whispers things to you, and then you begin to process them, may they be shut. But before they are shut, we will clean them up. You, you understand? You, you see, and then Jesus in Revelation 3, 7 quoted this. And we always want to quote, quote that scripture to pray. Revelation 3, 7 says, And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, these things says he who is holy. Hallelujah. And you see that he is big H. He who is true, he who has the key of David. You see the key of David that Isaiah was talking about. He who opens and no one shuts. Come on, read with me. Let's go. He who what? You see, we are going to pray the scripture. If you don't look at it, you'll be praying your own words and God will not hear you. (laughs) You you understand? He who opens and, and, and shuts and... So may he shut it. This is his work. He says he will do it. Let him do that. I don't know how to shut the door on my heart. Something like that. But there's something you, you should be doing. 
Hallelujah. It's very close to shutting. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, teach and help me to guard my heart. After God, Jesus has cleaned my heart and shut the door unto the enemy and have it open unto that which is good. Hallelujah. Teach me and help me to guard my heart with all diligence. So you remember the scripture we are going to? Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23. Proverbs 4 23. Keep your heart with all diligence. It's God's duty to do what? Shut the door. And it's your duty to set the garrison, set the defense around your heart. You understand? It's you who must keep, you must protect your heart with all diligence. Why? Because out of your heart springs the issues of life. There are some people, they are not living the life they are supposed to live because their heart is open to anything. You getting me? You say, Pastor, this is Easter. No, this is why Christ died for us. If you don't protect your heart, everything, your heart, no, 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 no. May somebody's heart be taken from his chest and a new one given to him. A heart of stone taken away and a heart of flesh given to you. A heart of anger taken away and a heart of patience and this given to you. Hallelujah. Keep your heart. This is your duty. This is what you do. And pray that you do it and resolve that you do it. Look at how the Amplified Classic puts it. Proverbs 4.23. If you don't have it, good. Keep and guard. So you see how, how he's bringing the two together. Keep and guard your heart with all vigilance. And above all that, and above all, above all that you guard. So, do you guard your money? Do you guard your car? Do you guard your house? Do you guard your week? Do you guard your children? It's above all that. Let your, the, the, the way you keep and guard your heart be above how you protect your, your gold, auntie. I, I know sometimes you have some beautiful jewelry. You, you, you're getting how scripture is saying it. So it's not something you do anyhow. Because above all that you guard, for out of it flows the springs of life. Instead of drinking from a clean fountain, you see some people drinking from a dirty fountain, all because the heart is troubled. Hallelujah. And then let's look at how the message, this one makes it for me. The message translations. Let's read this together. In the name of Jesus, let us go. If you have, if your heart is not kept vigilantly, you don't have a life. Because that is where and how life starts. That is where and how life begins. Hallelujah. And therefore today, we're going to pray, Lord, guard my heart. So you understand the prayer points we have picked? And all because Judah's heart was open. And the devil can go in and out. Hallelujah. I know he will realize, oh, the guy, is not, his mind is changing. Let me, let me do something. So he was able to strategically manipulate him. But you, he shouldn't manipulate you. Hallelujah. And nobody should manipulate you. Then let's look at the networking of the devil. Because sometimes we allow those things over our lives. The networking of the devil. Luke 22, 1 to 4. We've looked at it that he is one who strategizes. Hallelujah. And he targets the heart. He networks. Luke 22, 1. Let's read the, the New King James so that uh, we can go faster. This one adds a lot of encomiums. New King James 22, 1. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew near, which is called Passover. And the chief priests, as I read, please follow it with your eyes. The chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him who is Jesus for they feared the people so they were looking for a, 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 a sneaky way to kill him then you understand so watch something then Satan entered Judas the man that he had put the idea into his heart and now he has collaborators in the high priest so his network is what expanding don't think it's that old woman. Don't think it's that troublesome boy. Don't think it's that person who is the only person worrying you. There are a network of agents of the enemy working against you. 
He, the more people he gets, the, the, the stronger his scheme is. You, you understand? So now he's been able to get the chief priest. And so quickly, he said, ah, this guy, I have just left this thing in his heart. Let me now enter him. And when Satan enters you, it's dangerous. Even deliverance, sometimes you are delivering the person and it's like his spirit is leaving him. His soul even wants to leave. And if it leaves, he's dying. You, you understand? That person has totally sold himself to the devil. That's someone you can say he's demonized. But if you're a Christian and he's troubling you and he's putting ideas into your he can he's influencing you. But when you stay in that area of Satan influencing you, living thoughts and ideas in your heart, and, and, and you, you, he comes in, you are finished. Do you know why he can come in? Let me ask you a question. If you owe somebody, do you know he can come to your house to ask for the money anytime? You are holding his toys. Those who are holding the toys of the enemy, let it go. Leave it because he's coming to look for what belongs to him. And when he comes, he will find the place is good. He won't go away. Reject his ideas. Reject the things he makes you to do. Hallelujah. Because so now he entered Judas. And that was it. Verse 4. So he went his way and come. Now that he, after he entered Judas, Judas knew where to go to. Let's read the scripture together. First, he had, he had influenced the high priest. And then entered Judas to set him in motion. Otherwise, Judas wouldn't have gone. So now it was him moving to the high priest, not Judas. He has taken over. He's possessed. You, you, you get in what, the picture? And then now, he, he, and so he went his way and conferred with the chief priest. Who told him that the chief priest want to crucify, kill Jesus? The devil. And the devil led him where? He will be able to accomplish his schemings and his plans. You get in it? May you not be someone the devil will use this way. The high chief priests and captains, how he might betray him to them. <laughs> hallelujah. And they were glad. Say, hallelujah. I just had my soup without any, any uh, 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 fufu to eat. Then you have brought fufu. Me, I didn't want fufu. I just wanted to drink my soup. So that's what the devil is saying. You, you understand? And they were glad and agreed to give him money. And because this guy is a thief and he's greedy, you see the bad attitude. What did he do? So he promised and sought opportunity. But he was with Christ. Hallelujah. Sought opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of the multitude where nobody was there. You, you understand? And so he schemed. Hallelujah. God is good. We're going to pray today. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, interrupt. Jam. It's communication line. When our communication line, like how my mic was not flowing and it was breaking, may it not just break, but may it be cut forever. Every communication line that is said against me, confuse them. Confuse the network of the devil, the web of evil that the enemy has joined me to or connected me with. Because there are some he has joined us with. They are, you call them your friends, but anytime you go there, by the time you leave, you are planning to do evil. They are influence of you. You call them. And somehow in association, secret society, that, 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 that. May the Lord interrupt their conversation. When they can't communicate, they can't do anything. May the Lord rise up and do that. Hallelujah. And if you have joined them willingly, then please reject it. Renounce it. Denounce them and come out of it. Decide today, God, bring me out of it. Hallelujah. But if it is them, whether they, the enemy tricked you or whatever into it, we also pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. Scatter every satanic assembly that I have been recruited into either consciously or unconsciously. My Lord, scatter it. Let them never agree. That is why what Isaiah chapter 54 says. Try and read the whole this. And we have been reading a verse from it every morning. But the verse 14 and 15 says, 
in righteousness you shall be established. You remember earlier, we looked at him establishing and settling you and perfecting you. In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression. Somebody, somebody say far from oppression. Hallelujah. Do you have you? Okay, this example is not good. I won't use it. <laughs> far from oppression. For you shall, it's like, let me use that, an alcoholic. He drinks and he has headache, splitting headache, and, and, and he's uncomfortable and he will swear. I won't drink again. When the pain goes, what is the next thing he's looking for? Alcohol. And it's so with us. Some of us, it's not alcohol, it's other things. You, you understand? May God free us. May his going to the cross not be in vain for us. Hallelujah. In righteousness, you and I must be established. We shall be far from oppression. For you shall not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near you. Hallelujah. Then verse 15. Indeed, they shall assemble, but not because of me. The me is God. Any gathering, any association, any network that is not of God, you understand, when they assemble, it will not work. Whoever assembles against you, you sh they sh shall fall for your sake. That's how God scatters every evil network. Hallelujah. Why do I believe it, it shall be so? That they shall gather, but it shall not be of God. It means I will not approve of it. And whatever they gather, it will not, it will not succeed. To do, it will not succeed. Then Isaiah 54, 16, and 17 comes in. Watch something here. Behold, I have created a blacksmith, the one who makes that weapon. That devil, I created him. You, you understand? I, I created him. So I know him inside out. The one who makes the blacksmith, who blows the coal in the fire, who brings forth every instrument of his work. And I have created a spoiler to destroy. Both of them are under my control. It's only when I permit them that they can destroy. It's only when I permit them that, 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 that they, can, they can do what they, they, they created to do. Hallelujah. The idea to make a gun, I gave it to man. But any gun pointed at you for no good reason will not succeed. You, you, you understand? That is what God is saying. Then he goes on to say, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. But you must understand how he, how he developed it. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall, shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you, he has his role and you have your role. Today, condemn every tongue that has risen up against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You shall condemn. And it is your heritage. It's your inheritance. What he has given to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So can we rise up and begin to pray. Hallelujah. This morning. Uh, this evening. Sorry. It's an evening with the Lord. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Did I exalt you well? Even if I don't give you the prayer points, can you pray? As you are praying, the keyboards blow tongues. Okay? Can you pray in the spirit? Somebody charge yourself up. Somebody thank him and bless his holy name. He is God Almighty. All knowing is his name. Thank him, Father. He is your Father. He is your Father. He has begotten you in Christ Jesus. Dare to call him Father. Thank you for what Christ has done for me. Thank you for what he has done for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank him. Second Chronicles 16 9. Tell him, I acknowledge you as the omniscient God. You are the omnipotent God and you are the omnipresent God in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture first. Second Chronicles 69. For the eye of the Lord. Somebody declare the eye of my God. Is running to and fro throughout 
the whole earth katonde bria to show himself stronger on my behalf makatonde ba somebody personalize it katonde bria the eye of the lord the father and of of our lord and savior jesus christ on account of me is running is running to and fro throughout the whole earth throughout katonde bria katonde makan wins katonde ontario makasin di berketonda rabaha throughout the whole of canada throughout the whole of africa katonda bagana the lord's eyes are rolling them every nation represented here makaso katambri eko ate in the baha mandere bri arabaha sendibria is running to and fro lebri katonde lebri anda showing makato to show himself strong someone he is the strong one l is his name he is the strong one makaton de brika tonda rabaha makason de brika tonda rabria menda rabaka se katon de bria when the whole earth kason de bria ndi ha lebe katan de bria kason de bria makaton de bria on behalf of those uh, uh, whose heart uh, is loyal to him lebri ketonda rabaka se katende bria ndi ha lebri leba akase katan de bria lebe akaton de bria manda rababa hasan de bria i qualify for it uh, makaton de bria my lord makat sondebria therefore brethren let us pray in the name of jesus ask him my lord and my god i give you all my heart i give you all my heart i yield my heart to you i surrender my heart to you in the name of jesus my heart is not my own my life is not my own i want to live for you i want to love you alone mikiton de brianda have my heart heart have my heart my lord and my god touch my heart shake it up makatoya massage my heart a heart of flesh katon debria every hardening in my heart lord touch my heart and clean my heart with the blood with your blood wash my heart sanctify my heart purify my heart ma anton debri ikoton debria lebe akaton debria lord as i resolve to be loyal to you because Because your word says uh, those whose heart is loyal to you uh, are those that you show yourself strong uh, as your eyes go to and fro uh, father i pray for everyone uh, in this sanctuary i pray for all those who are on the online uh, lord but touch every heart uh, father touch every heart uh, touch every heart katon debria let every heart of stone uh, become a heart of flesh katon debria le me akaten debria katon da labria la ba every Every troubled heart, every fearful heart, ah, kato ni kita na baha, ni kanda na bria na baha. You shall fear no more. Makato be loyal, be loyal to him. Makaso ni bria, a loyal heart, a loyal heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, kato ni bria, makato ni bria. Iko, I ask for a loyal heart. I pray for every man, Lord, loyal heart. In Jesus' name, every woman, every young. lady every young man our children even all those in africa somebody pray for your brethren pray for your siblings pray for your parents pray for your children oh the key condition is a loyal heart me katon debria he looks at the heart and therefore if my heart is not loyal he can see it he looks at the heart lord when you come looking at my heart when you come searching and checking my heart may you find my heart loyal to you may you find each and every one's heart loyal to you make it on the bri katon de briara lelebo man de bri katon de briara la ba katon de briara ba ha ma katara ba ha son de bria you are god you are god alone ma kita bri katon de bri katana da bria me atayanda we cannot negotiate this our authority is to obey is obey makaton de briara ba ha but god says you cannot be loyal to him and not be loyal to the people he has brought into your life you cannot say you love him 
and hate man. He says he's a God whom you don't see. And if you love him, then you will love your neighbor. Somebody pray, Lord, help me to be loyal to my employers. Help me to be loyal in your church. Help me to be loyal to my wife. Help me to be loyal to my husband. Help me to be loyal to my children. Our parents get on every akata a loyal heart. Bless each and everyone with a loyal heart. Somebody pray that my Lord and my God, I know, I know, the adversary Satan, he is a schemer. I don't want to be ignorant of his devices. I don't want to be ignorant of his stratagems in the name of Jesus Christ. The next prayer point, oh, for grace to be sober and vigilant to resist Satan uh, selflessly in faith because the word of God says uh, we should be sober we should be vigilant uh, because my adversary your adversary hey, he is the devil uh, he is walking around uh, like a rolling lion uh, frightening people uh, intimidating people uh, looking for whom he may devour but in the name that is above every name in the name of Jesus God I pray that I will be sober I pray katumbu ata rekota brikatonda I pray for your children that we will be sober we will be vigilant katandebria I ask for grace to be sober just a little bring it down a little ah that you will be sober oh for grace to be sober the grace somebody say make me a sober child of God make me a vigilant child of God because my adversary he is the devil he is walking around prowling around seeking whom he will devour but not only that, Maha, Lebri Katon de Rebria, Makato Rebria, the verse eight, Lebri Kataba, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about, Katon de Bria, he is looking, he is lacking, Makatamra Kasoka Terebria, Makata Lebonda, but remember, as he does that, God's eye, God's eyes are going to and fro. Somebody say, Lord, I am in your hand lebri katonda baha he will not scare me mikindo ikabada baha baha mande bri le baba o lebri hala baba ha ebri katonda rabri katana rabri kason de bria makaton de bria verse 9 la raba ba de for the lord as i become sober mande bria raba ha alebo kiti katon de bria and i am vigilant manda ba now i take my stand i resist the devil can you come on somebody come against him bakatara ba ba kata 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 ba Makata nebri katonda ha be kato be keto bri katonda ha I say resist him makato nebriya refuse him reject him he is not your lover he is your enemy makata kata kabara hasan nebriya kandi bi kato ba ata ma 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 kate karabrau arabara 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 ar
katone re baha makaso katone bria makaso dabria re baba makata rabru kuso katende bria makata ne bria re baba kasone bria re bria na la baba kasone re bria manda bria re baba kasone bria makatone bria re baba katende bria makande re bria re baba katende bria man bria re baba katende bria makatone bria re baba kasone bria makatone bria re baba katende bria makatone bria re baha manda re baba katone bria let the god of grace uh, the god of all grace uh, the god of all grace uh, the god of all grace uh, lebricado he has called you uh, that about the western makatone bria ba 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 katone bria makatone bria bandara baba ha he is true uh, he is true uh, lebria baba kasone ha the god of all grace uh, we call on you today uh, we call on you this evening uh, we call on you tonight uh, wherever your children are and they are on this platform uh, hear them oh lord uh, hear them oh lord uh, you have called each and every one of us uh, to your eternal glory in Christ Jesus uh, you have called us not to put us to shame uh, but to glorify us lebrika uh, tonebria and therefore this momentary suffering uh, this temporary suffering uh, shall end very soon uh, shall end very soon but uh, as we resist uh, as we stay sober as we stay vigilant lebrika uh, tonebria Mendara baba katonde bria la makatonde bria you promise us uh, that you will perfect us uh, you will establish us uh, he will strengthen you uh, he will settle you uh, ask him lord uh, your promise is yea and amen uh, and therefore lord uh, as i resist uh, as i press through uh, katonde ba perfect me i are mo katoya perfect that which concerns me uh, and make me perfect make me complete uh, make me mature spiritually mature emotionally mature in the name of Jesus Christ that told everybody establish me oh lord where do you want the lord to establish you make it on everybody in his kingdom in his kingdom i will not have one foot in the kingdom and another foot in the world position me plant me and establish me in your kingdom strengthen me by your spirit strengthen me by your your might uh, strengthen me by your wisdom strengthen me katobria katonda ha alelela bo katobria and let it be quiet with me settle me katombria akataraba ha mande be ataya alebria baba katerebria nda ha lebria baba katerebria nda ha menda baba katerebria menda baba katonebria makatonebria baba ha miko taraba baba katonebria makaterebria baba ha makatonebria baba ha Lele baba ha sendebria mandere bria baba ba ka sendebria lebri ba john 13 verse 2 lebri ka tonde bria baba ha minda la baba ka tende bria baba ka sendebria la la ba ka sendebria he is a troublesome devil lebri ka tonde ba he's defeated but he is alive la bri ka tonde bria baba ha he keeps working but a son ebria lebri iko tonde bria the scripture says ka tonde bria la la baba the devil having already put it into the heart of Judas Katonebria is there anything of the devil in your heart has the devil put anything in your heart makatonda any whispering any ideas lebri katonda ba katika bri katonda bri araba ha makatara bri araba ba ha pre katori bru ha lele la bo kita kasa kata kata lebri araba ba anything ask him to clean your mind ask him to renew your mind ask him atobria remove it i reject it from my heart i reject it katori and the devil uh, had put it in the heart lebri katone rebri araba ha he is targeting your heart uh, he is targeting your heart lebri katone rebri le me antone rebri and ha but there is a lord uh, there is a god uh, there is a savior his name is jesus he has been empowered uh, he has been equipped uh, he has authority to shut the door on your heart lebri katone rebri ask him uh, my lord enter my heart uh, and clean my heart uh, page my heart uh, every kitonda rabria and shut the door uh, shut the door uh, cover my heart with the blood uh, the blood of jesus uh, be a covering every katonda brianda ha lebi alaraba ha let him shut your door man debriara ba ha lord jesus i invite you i call you in i give you my heart every katonda bria come into my heart uh, and shut the door makate 
Kebri Koton Darabaha unto the enemy that draw Makase Katambri Katoneha Briarabo Kitarabaha Mika Tombre Akatea Hikiti Kataraba Kate Katarabaha Lebriaraba Kata it is my work says the Lord I would do it Lebriaraba Kasonebria because he has the keys of David Isaiah 22 22 the keys to the house of David he has the key to your heart Lebri Kitonda Akatabria Rabaha Elemanda Rabaha is on his shoulders Katonebria he shall shut and no one shall open declare the Lord shall shut my heart and no one can open no devil no Satan no demon no person no man Katonebria can open the heart because Jesus is the one who shuts and no one opens Revelations 3 7 Labri Katonebria and the Man, they be a kataya, lebri arababa kase katonebria, arababa he shuts, and no one opens his shack katonebria. He's carrying the key, walk from person to person, makatorabari arabaha, open the doors of their hearts, search in any devil, any demon, any wrong attitude, any mentality, makasiko, makata, brakatondeha, stubbornness, rebellion in the name of Jesus Christ go in and clean them out even people with problems with their natural hearts father in the name that is above every name clean up their arteries I say clean up the cholesterol that have guarded clean up their veins of every ailment and every deposit in the name of Jesus Christ and akatoya. I know somebody thank him uh, that he has cleaned your heart. Uh, thank him uh, that he has shut your heart. Uh, maka tondebria, maka, there will be no to and fro for the enemy. Uh, your heart shall not be a playground uh, for the enemy. Uh, he shall trouble your heart no more. You shall no more be fearful. Uh, therefore now pray. Uh, oh Lord, uh, maka sondebria, teach and help me uh, to guard my heart. As you shut the door, may I set a sentry, may I set an army, may I set a garrison around my heart, an impregnable defense unto my heart, because your word says that I and not you should keep my heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life, and therefore, Lord, I resolve to do that. Uh, help me uh, to guard my heart, uh, to keep my heart, uh, to protect my heart. Uh, with all diligence, uh, with all diligence. Uh, somebody lay your hand on your heart. Uh, like you are going around with your hand. Uh, I set a guard uh, around my heart. Uh, it's not a natural heart, uh, but let's use it as a symbol. Uh, the message Bible. Let's pray the message translation. Oh Lord, for grace to guard my heart with all diligence. For I am to keep my heart. Somebody look at the scriptures. Don't close your eyes. That is where the power is. That me, that you, that us, that the one online we can tell every and they are we are cut on there we are to keep a vigilant watch makaton every other lava ha maka over our hearts i will keep a vigilant watch over my heart i will be careful what i allow to come in i will be careful what i believe katerebri on the ha makaton every because that is where life starts makaton every other ha the beginning the genesis makaton Lord, 
We all have seen how the enemy worked and orchestrated things as he was working on Judas. He was working on the chief priests, and when he had both of them, scripture says he entered the heart. John 13, 26 and 27. Okay, it's okay. He entered Judas. Is carried who was surnamed named uh, among the twelve he orchestrated it uh, today we want to pray we want to pray to God interrupt God jam God confuse every network every web of evil that the enemy has joined me to or connected me with those that I joined willingly I reject them I renounce them I denounce them in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I say cut their links cut their communication break their communication in the name of Jesus Christ I come out of them I'm no more one of them I come out but where the enemy Kandorabria lied and deceived me Libria, where I went in unconsciously in the name of Jesus Christ Father I pray somebody lift up your hand like you are lifting up your weapon and say my Lord and my God I, I pray scatter scatter every satanic assembly in the name of Jesus Christ that I have been recruited into Katonebria consciously or unconsciously scatter them because my righteousness shall be Akata in righteousness I shall be assembled Katonebria Naraimo Akatonebria they shall gather they shall assembly they shall meet but not of you you have not sanctioned it and it will not stand in the name that is above every name you created them therefore somebody therefore he made those he created those who make those weapons those spiritual weapons but they shall not prosper Isaiah 54 16 I have created the blacksmith says the Lord he blows the coal in vain he brings forth his instruments of work in vain he created the spoiler and the destroyer but they shall not spoil and they shall not destroy but can somebody, can somebody declare with me that no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon be it spiritual even physical weapons formed against me formed against you formed against your loved ones shall prosper every tongue that rise against you in judgment somebody condemn somebody nullify with the word of truth I condemn I nullify in the name of Jesus The Lord says, and your righteousness is from me. And with that righteousness, you'll be established. You'll be perfected. You'll be settled. Hallelujah. There's something beautiful about God. He created all these things, not for evil, but this perverted devil takes what is good and uses it for evil. You are good. Somebody say, I'm good. When God created you, he said you are good. Somebody say confident, I am good. I am not made for evil. Hallelujah. And therefore, I will not be an instrument in the hands of the enemy. Hallelujah. And there's something beautiful I saw. I saw something in First Peter. Let's look at it quickly. Then we'll thank God and close. First Peter 5, 8. Good, you are there. Be sober, be vigilant. Because the adversary, the devil, walks about. Do you know he's restless? He has no permanent address. But you have an address. If I ask you where you stay, you can give me your address. So why should you make somebody who's homeless your friend? 
he, he walks around every day. He doesn't know. You, you understand? And he uses what we call network of demons. So, you know, dev, the devil is not omnipresent. Somebody hear this. Those who fear the devil, he's not omnipresent. He can't be at every place at the same time like your God, who is at every place at the same time, sees everything at the same time. He doesn't also see everything at the same time. So how does he gather information? That's the network that we say God should scatter. So he uses what we call spy demons. So they are around you. And then they pick it. Sometimes even the easiest thing is you say it. Is, ah, you want to go to Ghana, you will see. You, you understand? That doesn't mean don't say it. That's why you should be prayerful. That's why you should be prayerful. So they gather information and, and send the information through their network, their hotlines to Satan. Then Satan will say, okay, do this, do this, kill him, do this, do this. If their network is broken, can they communicate? So that prayer is something you pray every day. Remember, the devil is not where you are. If he is here, fine. Then he can't be in Toronto. He can't even be in, in, in where is that place there? Where? My daughter, Dorcas is Lassa. He can't be there. He's here. And then he, he uses demons. They give report to him. Then he orchestrates it. Hallelujah. If you are somebody who can call on the name Jesus, 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 they, they always run away from you. And do say it in faith. Hallelujah. And 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 the, and the scripture says he prowls around, rolling around, around, around uh, uh, like a lion, seeking whom you may devour. In the jungle, the king of the jungle is the lion. He goes to take a, 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 a strategic position. And then he goes, Aah! and then if you are fearful, if you are afraid, all the animals that are hiding begin to come out. And then the other lions that have positioned themselves, bah, they catch you, bah, they catch you, or chase you and catch you. You see how it is. That's why he's rolling to intimidate you. May you not fear the rolling of the devil. May you not fear the may you not be intimidated by him. Because he's doing that for you to come out of your corner of faith. And then he will catch you. And everybody's oh, but he's a good Christian. Yeah, because a Christian who didn't practice total Christianity. That's why we are the full gospel church. We will teach you everything. There's no going back, 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 and then you don't even know this. I say, when the devil roars, what should you do? Remain where you are. Remain, stay. Somebody say, chill. That's why he's going to settle you, establish you, root you, so that nothing can uproot you when you should not be moved. Come on, somebody will say, hallelujah. You understand? So the least thing, that, the least thing, no, 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 no. Then he gets you. So he leads you on to destroy you. He leads you on to steal from you. He leads you on to, 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 to kill. Because the devil has roared, doesn't mean come out of your safe zone. Come on, somebody, are you hearing me? Lift your hand and thank him. Thank him and bless his name as, as Uncle Dan comes in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's thank him. Uh, he's been so good. Uh, how I hope we can pray for two more hours in the name of Jesus. But we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Somebody, praise the Lord. As you take your seat. As you take your seat. Are you blessed? Will you continue tomorrow? How many people will be on the line, the prayer line? Amen, amen. You know we can see you all, all right? <laughs> Hallelujah. We want to bless the Lord because he's blessed us with everything that we have. You know, this is one time, you know, one time that is so exciting to be in the presence of the Lord. That's why the Bible tells us that we cannot come into his presence with what? With what? Empty hand. Do you know our platforms are many, many platforms, so there is no excuse not to give. You can give through cash. You have envelopes you can use, check. POS is at the back, credit card or debit card. And then... In the comfort where you are sitting, you can give through ye transfer. Ye transfer to D Mensa at A N F G C dot com dot org. Or you can give through push pay, push pay uh, A N F G C Windsor to seven seven nine seven seven and follow the prompt. Amen. You see, God blesses a cheerful giver. Do you believe that? 
Do you believe that? Do you know when the devil is, you know, the network of the devil sending people and telling us, oh, this, not this, don't give, or use the money for this and that, you, you have a shoe to buy, you know? When you wear that shoe, where are you going to walk? Where? Where? In the sky? No, you cannot. So we thank the Lord for blessing us as we pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to give to support your work on earth. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, so do we. Many will turn to you. There are souls, lost souls, that are looking for a place like ours to fellowship and hear the word of God and pray and put the devil in flight. We thank you for all you are doing as you bless us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I don't sit and get the behind me. Victory today is mine. Oh, victory. Before we close, in my hometown, something happens during the Easter. You see, the pagans, they want to follow the Christians and see what they, they, they will see in the churches. You know, they want to witness because the Christians are talking about Jesus. Oh, Jesus on the cross. Jesus is going to, to, to go on the cross, right? Eh? And then um, Jesus is, will die and then resurrect. So the pagan says, oh, wow, let me go see where Jesus is on the cross. So they come. Amen. The lost souls, let's tell them something is happening in this house. Amen. As we celebrate Jesus on Friday. Amen. Amen. Bring somebody. Witness to somebody and bring the person. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we going to do that? Hello. On Friday, when you come, look around. Okay? Whether your person has come. Amen? And if you don't bring anybody, what will we say? Oh, me. <laughs> Amen? Father, we want to thank you that you have the key that you shut our heart to what the devil will come and tell us. Because the devil wants to steal devil wants to destroy us but you are there position because you are the man of war we thank you we are living here but not living in your presence because your presence will go to every house lord and we thank you for all that we have seen and things that you are doing and continuously do for us our family our church family for the benediction the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you that perfect peace. Go in peace. Amen. Hey. Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. You will lift it up, 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 God. up, 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 up,
will lift it up above the God. Above the God. You will lift it up above the God. Above the God. Hallelujah. Heaven angels singing. They are shaking, hallelujah, hallelujah, heaven angels singing, they are shaking, hallelujah, oh, morning time, afternoon, in the evening, they are singing hallelujah. Morning time, we say, morning time, afternoon, in the evening, they are singing hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. Oh, we give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. Glory to the Lord, he, oh, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. My hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. My hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. Everything I touch, everything I touch, my hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. My feet are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord, my feet are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord, everywhere I stand, surely shall be blessed. Everywhere I go, my feet are blessed. With the blessings of the Lord. Jehovah reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, you will lift it up above the God, above the God, above the God, above the God. You will lift it up above the God, above the God. You will lift it up above the God, above the God. Hallelujah! Heaven angels singing. They are singing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, heaven angels singing, they are singing, hallelujah, oh, morning time, afternoon, in the evening, they Shaking, hallelujah. 
morning time we say morning time afternoon in the evening they are singing hallelujah we give glory to the lord he reigns we give glory to the lord he reigns he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. Oh, we give glory to the Lord, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he Oh, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord.